We're gonna get a storm finally. About time. It's the first week of July. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So I think I'm going to have to barbecue in the rain. Yes, you are. It's your umbrella. Uh, I don't know about this. Piece of the barbecue? No, the label fell off the barbecue. Hey, it's actually metal. Hmm. It's what? It's the metal label fell off of the barbecue when I slammed the thing. Let's see what did that say? Fiesta. Well, let's just have one. Will it go back on there? Not very well. Well, I can't touch it when it's hot. That's the problem. Well, you're going to sing a song today? What's Becky? Come on. Well, I, I'm not, not sure what the song was. I've forgotten. Did you get some new jewelry? What's that hanging on your neck? It's just a little spangle. A little bangle? Spangle. Tanzanite? Oh, maybe. Huh. I like towns at night. What a lucky girl. Look at here. What's this? It's upside down. Oh. Oh. That's military for I don't know. Oh, sorry. And hole. And for something's gonna blow up. Right? Uh, we're going to barbecue tonight, and uh, I'm going to sterilize my grill. Don't get excited now, and don't tell me that this is dangerous, because I watched Mythbusters, and you can too. And that pretty much takes care of one of the problems you have here in Mexico, which is, and I don't do it, if you leave the lid down on your grill, the cockroaches think it's a condom. Sure hope I haven't ruined your appetite. What'd you use a spray? Bug spray? Walmart huh? Sabor Mantequilla. Butter flavor. Huh? Or whatever I happen to have. Bug for, spray. For spray. <laughs> not bug spray. No, <laughs> not bug spray. Here's the... We're gonna, <laughs> yeah, and we're cooking um, a pork tenderloin. <clears throat> Saboya, zanoria, pork. Hmm? Are you going to be my dog content today? Huh? Hello. No. Oh. So we're going for our walk this morning, and guess what? We have a sinkhole. Hmm. We got the first really hard rain last night that we've gotten so far this year. Found a couple of leaks in my roof. Sump pump didn't work. Water almost came into the living room. So we just came over to this neighborhood to take a walk today. We're at a big hotel. They have one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedrooms, and four bedroom rooms. Hotel Danza del Sol. So what did she say? She said um, about uh, $110 for a night, one night with breakfast. Uh, but by the month, about a hundred and about eighty dollars a night. With breakfast. Without breakfast. Oh, without, still without breakfast. Yeah. Looks like we need to go this way. Hey. 
That's exactly like my my, my, my lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly the same mower. Yeah. Umbrella in the rain. Uh, no thanks. Look at this rooster. Wow. Big rooster. It's wood. Yeah. Oh, look at this cow. Okay. See this kid. Is this a cow or a shark? What's the deal? Looks like a cow. It's a cow, but cows don't have shark fins. No. <laughs> anyway, see how, see the square shape yeah, of the yeah. body? Mm -hmm. Got a story. So, uh, Lynn sees a picture and it's got a couple of cows that are that shape, which is not the shape of a cow where I came from. Right. And uh, it's a picture. A painting. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it was a lithograph, but I, I don't know. Anyway, it's $139 and I'm thinking, this is really ridiculous. So, but she wants it. So, it's like birthday, Christmas, I don't remember. But anyway, I buy it as a gift. And I put a ribbon around it and a bow in the middle of it. But you can still see the cows. The stupid looking cows. And I hang it on the wall and I don't take off the ribbon and the bow for all those years. <laughs> because I'm saying, people need to know that this was a president. It wasn't something I... I liked <laughs> the stupid cow picture. Uh -huh. Whoa, look at that building. Here comes the gas truck. I'm, I'm betting this is a graphic arts building. What's your guess? I'm, I'm with you. And then this, this over here, this is uh, Armando's Hideaway. This is a good place to come in the winter when it's a little cooler. Yeah. Because it can be indoors and he's got a big fireplace. Want to no, it's not open right now. Oh, oh, oh. It's open for dinner. And here's one of the ice cream carts. So the guy pushes that around and sells ice cream. Yeah. He's been around the neighborhood for years. <laughs> he knows my name. I see him somewhere in the town and they'll say, Yeri, Yeri. Because they don't do J's very well. Yeri. There's a sidewalk. So this house right over here with the flowers on yeah. the garage door. Yeah. Years ago we looked at that to buy it. It was for sale. And I remember it because it's one of the first houses I ever saw where it had a fake chimney with a gas fireplace. Oh. It didn't go out. Yeah. There really wasn't any chimney and a gas fireplace. Huh. And that to me was like, well, what the heck? What Is that safe? Uh, 
The deal is that the combustion of propane, the byproduct of the combustion of propane, oh, this guy here, they go around and they'll refill your uh, soap bottles, your dish soap, your shampoo, all your household cleaning products. Yeah. They refill your bottles for you. Get out of here. Yeah. That's a business. Well, we're just walking around the outside of Danza del Sol, so all of this, all the way as far as you can see down there is Danza del Sol. Uh, should we explain what's going on over here in the driveway? Sure, he's pushing on the wall. That's exactly what he's doing. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, the fireplace. Mm -hmm. When you burn propane and it's a complete combustion, the byproducts are carbon dioxide and water. Well, and heat, of yeah. course. But um, And the way you know if it's a complete combustion is that the flame is blue, which is a higher temperature than yellow. So if you're getting a little yellow in your flame, yeah. that means it's an incomplete combustion. And an incomplete combustion means that there's one less oxygen mo molecule combining with the carbon. And one less oxygen mo molecule doesn't give you carbon dioxide, it gives you carbon monoxide, which we all know is deadly. But as long as your propane fireplace or your propane stove in your kitchen has got a blue flame, you're okay. It's got a yellow flame. Cuidado. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.